I'm loading up my pickup. I'm heading for the ranch. So one of the first things that we want to do is make sure the mule tips his nose to the left, which then has the left brain thinking. It also loosens the throat latch. Second part is the mule drops his head and loosens all five major neck muscles. Now I want you to notice how she's not just putting the come along hitch up on the mule's head, she is rubbing to make it feel good as well. And that is super, super important. Uh, needs to be rubbing uh, so that it feels good and as it goes, you start seeing it's the mule's head drop then as it drops, then she can just slide it right over nice and quiet. But the mule must be physically and mentally ready. The mule is not physically and mentally ready when the head is up and the nose is sticking out. A trainable mule is head down, nose tipped to the left, and relaxed. The mule has naturally, is naturally relaxed, has natural relaxation. What we tend to do by rushing, what we tend to do by using the wrong communication skills is we tend to make them worry and then they want to stiffen all five major neck muscles to, uh, to protect themselves. So you can see the mule is kind of pulling away from Ilana now. And she needs to go back and build that relaxation again. There's the relaxation. Now we start putting on the rope. And of course, he's bracing again. And remember, this mule has severe ear problems, severe. And so we must stay uh, consistent with our training. And that is every time, mule's head must be tipped to the left. Every time, mule's nose must be dropped. Every time, every single time, we need consistency. And when the, when the mule pulls away, we go to the next stage after he relaxes. We want relaxation, there it is. See, rubbing and petting on their nose, mules care more about their nose than their head. And so we need to keep that relaxation going. And she makes every move is slow, even movement. Slow, even movement. See, now even there, the mule kind of stuck his nose out like he was wanting to try to help her get that rope on, which is good. So now as she starts pulling the slack up to go over the ears, we want to remember we want a lot of slack. Notice how she's using her hands in such a way so that she can keep the slack and add slack. And then she's going to go back to rubbing on the mule's head again. This mule likes to be petted and scratched, which is good. And you've got to remember this mule has also been imprinted in the very beginning. Everything was just fine. And then all of a sudden, one day, the mule decided to be a problem, so the owner said. And I know the owners are usually pretty good about handling these things, so uh, who knows what happened. But something happened where this mule went and, uh, and went backwards a little bit, and that does definitely happen. See, the mule's trying to figure a way to get comfortable here. That's all it's doing. Notice it's not dragging her around like we've had in the past. It's at least he's just moving his head. But with Ilana being consistent and quiet and going slow, she's keeping the quietness in the mule. Now, I can't impress upon you enough. That has to be keeping the quietness in the mule head down nice and quiet. Those are nice quiet thinking ears. That's all good stuff. 
Here she goes up to start rubbing on his nose. Notice her left hand has a little bit of hold of the halter and the rope. She'll go to rubbing, see him getting nice and quiet. There's dropping his head, he's liking that. So she just kind of sneaks the rope right on up over top of his ears. Then we pull the slack across the nose. We want it two fingers above the nostril to, for our next six months. And that's imperative because you'll have far better communication uh, with the two fingers over the nose. And you want to make sure that the bottom jaw is rounded as well. You can see right now, uh, we want it to be nice and rounded so that it gets nerves on the bottom and the nose as well. The idea here is with the come along hitch, if the mule makes the slightest mistake, we can fix it. There we are. So now we're using a combination of the come, come along hitch and the rope halter. We do not tie with the come along hitch. We only tie with the rope halter. So she's got the mule going. Nice job, Ilana. That was terrific. You know. Now this was pretty severe. I wish we had some videos of, of this before. Uh, and the mule could have a relapse where we can go at that. But anyway, good job. So that's how you work with an ear shy mule, putting the come along hitch on, and then we're going to be going to the bridle next. <laughs>